Welcome back to the Thor Motor Coach Dealer Open House. I am pumped to take you through. You're seeing the sign right now. The all new Aria 4000. And I'll tell you what, we have put so much into this. It was, it was a year ago, we brought you the Aria lineup, the 3401, the 3601, the 3901. You're like, what's next? It's the Aria 4000. And we have so much crammed into this. There's only one man who can walk us through and tell us every little detail, every nook and cranny. Adam Gudger, fresh see. back from Hershey. Nice I'll tell you what, you. I walked through this thing when it was uh, coming uh, coming down the line. And I was like, no way they did this. Yeah. And then I'd get down, you know, a couple weeks. Oh my gosh, it's got this on it. And you, 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 and your team have, I mean, went above and beyond on this. So let's talk about uh, in your mind when you were helping design this, what what you were thinking. Well, you know, it's we've done bunks before. Mm -hmm. But uh, this, this bunk is, is something special because it's got two full bathrooms in it, two showers. It's got, it's got a tub shower. It's got a, a large rear shower. It's got dual vanities. Um, you know, obviously with the bunk model, but having a drop, dead, drop down bed in the front as well, it's, it's got everything. It's got everything in it, Steve. And we've never done two bathrooms before. So um, to be able to incorporate all this stuff and still uh, keep this coach at 41 feet, it's unbelievable. Well, let's go inside because there is so much to see inside. I'll let you go, uh, all right. go ahead here and Tom will join us. Perfect. And uh, up the retractable steps. And I'll tell you what, just the, uh, the amount of room that's in here. I mean, I'm looking around, and I don't know. Do do we want to start with the extra wide dinette? Do we start with uh, Do we start with the sofa, the large, the step galley? You pick because well, this is there's there's so many things to talk th about. There is, and you know, one of the things that we really liked about how the way this came together is that normally when you see a bunk model, you have the sofa, and then you have the dinette next to it. Well. Obviously, you're gonna have a lot of people who you know who wants to talk to each other going like this down the road. So the fact that we actually have the the sofa and the dinette opposing one another is unique. You, you don't find that. And then the fact that you have this dinette that's so huge. This is 88 inches long. And so there's two great things about that. First of all, it, it just creates a lot more room. The second thing is it's on the patio side, so you got these nice windows on either side of of the uh, televisions, so you know, you can really look out and see. And thirdly. Because it's so wide, Steve, when this breaks down into a bed, guess what? A full-grown adult can lay down on it. Well, this sleeps 10 adults. 10 adults. Can you believe that? I mean, so you got the drop-down mm -hmm. bed in the front. you got a, a full pull-out dormy sleeper sofa here that can sleep two more adults. you got the nice full size. These aren't short, and you, you have to watch that sometimes because mm -hmm. some of the manufacturers, they'll, they'll actually cut the length of those of those bunk beds. This is the full length 74s, and then you got a king bed in the back. Everybody else uses queens for the most part, so it's just amazing what we've been able to it's, do with this thing. It's not just a king bed, it's a tilt of your king bed. It's a tilt of your yeah, king bed, awesome. and, and by doing that, that allowed us to actually put a lot more wardrobe. So there's actually a hang rod underneath the TV, and then there's a hang rod um, for the, the full wardrobe just to the right of it. So just a ton of room in this coach. It, it's really amazing. And then I don't know if you noticed the galley yeah, we walked go by. Back, let's go back but, to but the this galley. I, mean, I love the way you, you guys, the diesel team, did this. I love the amount of space you have cool? up here. A lot of outlets. You got the induction cooktop. You got the convection microwave. The storage that you put in this is unbelievable. I mean, too. you got you got these full, nice finished drawers inside, and then also, you know, another countertop extension that also doubles as a drawer. So, just just so much available room. And again, I mean, if you're gonna have this many people, obviously, you know, you need a nice, good sized galley to be able to handle everyone. Yeah, and, and you know, you got the solid. I mean, these are nice, solid surface countertops, and, and I mean, you know, the backsplash. It's really laid out nice and. One of the things I, I love about this countertop setup, you know, where a lot of the competition seen will end like right here. They do. That's it. And you got, you know, you can put something, a cookbook here. You can put a coffee maker up there. You know, you can bring, if you're really into cooking, you can bring the giant, uh, the, the mix master. Uh, you know what I'm talking oh, so yeah, about? Kitchen aid. The yep. kitchen aid. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's right. what I'm talking about. Go right about up there. there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you got a ton of room here. Yeah. Um, you got, uh, you know, let's go back. Well, let's. Uh, Residential let's, refrigerator. Yep. You got a full stack washer dryer, which we don't offer a stackable in our 333 Palazzo. So, you know, if you want a washer and dryer, just step up one level. And that looks that looks new. You got a digital display. This looks like it's all got a. I mean, you know, Whirlpool, you know, just like us, you know, Whirlpool is yeah. stepping up their game for us and, and providing us with better and better appliances all the yeah. time. You got, uh, you got the, the, the pantry. A huge, huge pantry. Pull out pantry. Yep, so we pulled at the bottom. There, there you go. go. Look at that thing. Absolutely. And then across from me too, Steve, there's a huge pantry behind this door. Oh, so yeah. again, you know, just keeping in mind that there's going to be more people in this unit. And, and the one other thing I want you to notice, because yeah. we really tried hard on this, but this has a pocket door that oh, closes nice. all this area off. And some of these bunk beds, mm -hmm. 
the bunks aren't closed off from the living room. There's pocket doors on either side. So, you know, if you need to put, you know, the kids oh, away for yeah. a little bit and, you know, make sure they have some private space, it's, it's right there. And for the them. nice thing is, as you do that, you close this door, you close that door. If they need the restroom, I'll let you swing around in here, Tom. We got uh, the, the midship. Uh, and this is, this is full, I mean, full bath in here. And this has got the little tub in there, which is awesome. It does. I mean, how nice is it to have a tub finally and, and a coach? So, uh, the fact that you have a tub shower. So, if, you know, you don't like stepping up as high, you know, you have the one in the rear, uh, so we have some versatility here. You know, if you want to, you know, wash the dog or whatnot, you know, sure. whatever you need to do. And you got the, the, the glass doors on that. You got uh, the nice stainless steel sink. A lot of room in that medicine cabinet up above. And then we uh, get back into the bedroom, and I mean, the closet space in here is great. I mean, you got the uh, the pull-out drawer. And this That's is the, this is the cushion for when you do the dinette. You push that down, and then. And you can store where we just have it in here right now to show people, hey, this is it's easy accessible. But closet, lots of storage in there. And, and I thought they did a really good job with that pull-out drawer underneath. And then job. you even have another uh, wardrobe right here as well. And so this is adjustable shelves so you can pull those out and you oh, can have nice. additional hanging space. Really nice. And uh, right behind us is the, oh, we've got to show this too because we put a lot of a lot of room behind the TVs there. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, look how much depth you have there. I mean, there's there's enough for you know, supplying uh, whatever you need. And the nice, we, the uh, bedroom TV gets its own Blu-ray player, which is nice as well. So, you Absolutely. know, you got some, watch here, you got the, the, the TVs up front, the tilt of view king bed, which is, I, I love the way uh, these things operate. It's so smooth and just so comfortable. Yeah, and with a king bed, and then because we, we tied in the toilet to the slide out, mm -hmm. it allowed us, because we didn't have to lose the space, to be able to put a larger nightstand in. And so if, if you have a, a CPAP machine or, or whatnot, you, could, you have room to actually put that um, in, in a place there where you're not having to figure out uh, how to set it up. And you got the little charging ports in the back, which are nice for charging your gadgets. And you get into the, the master bath here, and I'll tell you what, the, the room, come on, there's room, Adam. You can come in. Absolutely. Believe me, there's room. Yep, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. This is one of my favorite features is you got not one, but two. I mean, th the stuff you can store in here. I mean, bring it all, right? Well, we're, we're keeping in mind that you can't have 10 people yeah. in this thing. You know, we, we want to put people to the test. And then even behind the toilet, you'll notice that there's either you can use as a hamper or, or a trash uh, area as well, which there's never enough room for traf trash receptacles. So um, just having this whole thing slide out really makes for a number of benefits. Well, you got it's macerator toilet too. Absolutely. So uh, that's a, another great feature. And let's talk about uh, the powertrain because uh, let's talk about what gets this baby down the road. So this has a 360 Cummins okay. engine, the ISB 6.7 liter, and it's it's coupled with a 3,000 six-speed Allison transmission. So it's going to have the full 10,000. Uh, hitch on the back of it. So if you put all the stuff in it, you still have another 10,000 pounds that you can tow with you. And rides on the Atlas Foundation, which it is uh, specific for each floor plan. So that gives you a, a smooth ride as well. Uh, Tom, let's walk around up to the front uh, because I love the way that we have the dual screens uh, worked out because you can, you can, you, you have your backup monitors and you have your entertainment centers and it's easy to drive the dash light. Let's talk about when you were designing this. Well, so one of the very unique things about the Aria is the fact that from the firewall to the front of the front cap and from the end wall to the back of the rear cap, we have about 10 less inches of, of space that we're having to utilize. And so what we essentially were able to do is push that driver's chair forward. And so what that did is it really opens up and so you have better road view. And so since we had that opportunity, we actually cut down a lot of the space around the pod. And so it just really makes people more comfortable. We have a lot of first time buyers right. that are buying Arias and, and it's intimidating. Oh, 41 feet, I don't know. But you know what, Steve, when you get behind the wheel with this air ride chassis with the Atlas Foundation, it drives like a dream on the Freightliner. And when you're positioned in the right place, it just it makes it that much easier for you. And, and I'll share a story. When, when Tom and I were practicing to get our CDLs, you know, part of it is you have to do these backing exercises and you have to do parallel parking. We practice on an Aria, and it is. They, they are really easy to drive. I mean, if I can parallel park one of these, trust me, you can as well. Oh, we also uh, kind of changing gears here as it, you know, track my, 
We got navigation in here as well on the uh, Axera head unit, which is just what a great feature. Yeah, and, and this is the first coach that we've ever put two separate monitoring systems in. So you have GPS, and then you can see your cameras at the same time. So you know how nice is that? You know where you're going, and then actually when you change your lane, it's going to flip over to the side. Um, if you're backing up, it's going to switch to the rear. You always know those blind spot areas and, and, and what to look out for. And as always, uh, as we do with the, the handcrafted woodwork, just is gorgeous in here. This has the Pacific cabinetry and we do the, the high gloss cabinets as well and everything's hardwood and you know with what you'll find in a lot of the competitors they'll actually put an MDF that they wrap with vinyl and so what happens over time is the, the cabinets will change color and, and everything won't exactly look the same and so this is all hardwood maple including the face frame and and that makes for a huge benefit and it's we have Amish uh, cabinet makers in our area that supply us with these hardwoods and they're beautiful and you'll notice we got a remote panel here or a remote panel back there we have the multiplex wiring system in here. and it's a full house system uh, another thing that I, I love pointing out because there's a lot of our competitors that only put the lighting on multiplex and we're actually doing the whole house system on the coach and so what you essentially have is with these remotes is everything's wireless and so they just communicate through frequency so we've we simply simplified the systems in the coach and when you figure that a majority of the electrical problems that are had are just a to B style wiring. We eliminate a lot of those wires, which eliminates the issues you're going to have so you have more fun in your RV. And one of the things you can control through the multiplex wiring system is your climate. And as we are in here, just we have the, we have the air conditioners both running because it's a beautiful day here. And I mean, whisper quiet. Yes, and they're, they're 15 BTU air conditioners, so we're putting the bigger airs on, and there's heat pumps on each of the units. A lot of times you'll find in the RVs they'll only put it on one, but we actually put heat pumps on both. So down to 43 degrees ambient temperature, you can actually heat the coach with it. Nice. So this is the Aria 4000. Adam, thank you very much. Thank Always you. a pleasure. We're going to be seeing a lot of Adam because we got a lot of great products to show you. And as you're, you're seeing these and you're thinking, boy, I, I'd love to see this in person, these are what are coming to dealers near you. So, you know, you can hop on ThorMotorCoach.com. You can find the, clear, the dealer closest to you. Call them and say, hey, when, when are you going to get that Aria 4000? I want to check it out. So go ahead on ThorMotorCoach.com. Find your nearest dealer. And because uh, this, is, this is a sneak peek for you because this is a dealer showcase. We've got a lot of stuff to show you today. A lot of people want to see that new Outlaw. So we got that stuff. It's got the, the, the two porches. we got a brand new Tuscany. So much out here. We're going to be coming to you today, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. It's all going to be a great week. So thanks for watching. Again, post your comments below. Post your questions below. We're going to get you answered. We're going to see you again real soon. So thanks for watching.